Hey friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how to properly hold a shaft from turning when you go to torque a fastener like on a rotating part. You might laugh when you see this, especially if you're a seasoned pro and you kind of think back on your career and think the first time you start go, duh, why didn't I think about that? Or someone just, you know, was kind enough to show you the lesson. So stay tuned and you'll be able to see how you can do that so you can accomplish uh, torquing it to the right procedure. I'll also put a link in the description below on where you can find a cool little gadget that I found on Amazon to do it quote unquote professionally. But you'll see in the video that I just used some stuff I had around the shop, uh, torqued the fastener properly and got it done. So before you head off the rest of the video, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for tuning in and here's the lesson for today. I have a couple tips in this video that relate to just plain turning wrenches. And then for anybody out there that has one of these uh, this is a 2007 of the new body style Chevy 1500 that's looking to change out their CV shaft. I'll give you just a couple uh, highlights on how to do that on this model. But we had a tour boot, so we wanted to, luckily we caught that in time to uh, avoid disaster. But on my particular model, uh, compared to the link of the video I'm going to share from uh, South Main Auto, love those guys over there. They did a really nice video that got me in, pointed in the right direction. But on my 07, you needed to take the shock out to uh, access to drop the CV shaft down and then pull it out. So you simply start by taking the center nut off, get your hub hub cover off. You can take out those six bolts on the shaft, and uh, I took out the I took out the stabilizer link. But I really, on my model, I don't think I needed to because with the shock out, there was enough clearance. I was kind of just copying the old, uh, I believe the model on South Main is like a 99. But once you drop that down, you can easily just scoot the CV shaft out, pop the new one in, you know, grease and, and uh, loop the splines as necessary. And to torque this nut and to torque that is is just a pain in the butt if you're alone without thinking about being creative and doing this trick here. Uh, I don't recommend, uh, matter of fact, they even said in the directions they're making a big deal about don't use impacts for installation. You've seen me do a million videos where I say the same thing. I use impact tools to remove, but let's use the right tools for uh, installation. So to do that, to hold this in place from just spinning, here's a little trick I do. Hop inside the truck. If you've never heard this, you're going to laugh when you uh, see this for the first time. But start the truck up so the power brakes can work. And I just put a breaker bar between the pedal. It's literally just leaning against the seat post. And that was enough pressure for me to come back here and torque those inner bolts to, I believe it was 59. And the outer axle one was like 177. So some pretty big torque. That thing ain't going nowhere. But this is a way... To think outside the box if you're alone or you're a technician in the shop and you're trying to hit that flat rate time, this is a, a good way to think about, hey, what's in front of me? What can I use so that I can uh, just finish this job myself? So that is your tip of the day from your friends at HowToWrench.com. So make it a great day. Keep wrenching. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe. We appreciate it. And we'll talk to you again soon. Hey. What are you doing? Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up.